indicate the uh, Kazushi pattern of Ikkyomote is the front inward. It is the yang hand of Kokyuho. Okay? The, this part. There's, there's techniques within technique, okay? The Kihon Waza is a ritual. It's not a fighting application, okay? My Atemi is in here. So I do have to, he's pushing. I do have to ground. It does have to go into the center. But my hand, so my, the rebounding energy is coming through me, ground, going back to his center, back to his center. But the atami is going to his face, okay? So if he lets go, it goes right to his face, okay? So we here. It's not just going into his face, still getting his center. Boom. But this is wrong too. This pop. He is tasked in the ritual in not letting go of his grip. Because he's my energy that I'm working with. The energy that he provides either in his prescribed angle of attack, but also and more importantly, just the energy of gravity working on his mass. Okay? All that is what comes into me, into his center. But into the center. If I'm doing my job and he's doing his job, I cannot hit him in the face. If he stops his job in any number of ways, you will hit him in the face. Okay? One way is, he feels it, he lets go. Boom! You're gonna hit him. Another way is, is he resists the energy. Well, this cannot stop. Boom! You're going to hit him. Some ways you resist without realizing it is you try to slow knock it down. That's resistance. Boom! It's gonna come through. Another way is, one side of your head, of your body, in this case your head, is being slowed down by the other side of your body. It's dragging. You're going to catch up. Boom! You're going to hit. Okay? If you have your body as a unified whole, such that he goes, right now my head went, do you see? But the energy is trapped in my shoulder because my leg is resisting my head lowering. So if I do the technique and I kick the leg out, my whole body gets smooth. This is in essence what he's doing is noggin. So my energy goes in and he uses his whole body to make it work. But he's doing it from a yang side of the mirror. On the yin side of the mirror, I let him move my whole body, but I have to keep my whole body connected. If my body segments, here in the shoulder, this side's dragged to the topsy-turvy, he's gonna hit me. So much so that it's not about grip strength. I have the same IQ adhesion and he can't hit me. It's not me running away from it. I just connected. Nowhere is he near my head. Do you see? Okay, so we'll do that. That part is here. Do you see? But we're going to do it at a less intense level. You don't have far to fall. Okay? But your hand will go 
Cross into space. Boys in his feet. You see, I don't get near his head. Okay, let's go. Hey. <laughs> You're not doing Ikkyo at this point. You're doing a strike and a throw. Okay? So just like he went flying in the last technique, he should go flying on this technique. Oh, I'm doing this. Do you, you understand? I'm, I'm using the front inward position. Okay. He is not getting hit in the face, so it turns into a throw. You, you got it? Not, it's not even going down. Boom. So my center, boom, is attacking his center. You're not trying to find his arm. You see, you're not out here. You're in here. Watch how close I am. In. Well, I can't hit him in the face because he's connected. Okay? Try it. You pay attention, you're not in the heel yet. So, slower so you can see. And clearing the line from this angle of attack here. Okay? This is what's going to send him into the front position. See that? But I'm not here and just hitting him in the face. What do I have to have? I have to have his center. Okay? So let's say he lets go and I'm going to do that strike. It's not this. It's the same boom in his body. You see? So where, where I was going to touch, it's in his body. Boom! You understand? Not, I'm not trying to smack him. I'm using a tummy. He lets go and take his whole body. Boom. In his center. Boom. So he, your, your kid's going to let go. Okay, so you're not doing this. Your kid's going to let go and you have to have his block. Boom. So he can resist. He can resist, push back. Doesn't matter, in his body. Whoa. You understand? Say yes, it's pretty obvious, okay? You're not here like this. It's in, hit his whole center. Whoa. He lets go, hit his whole center. Boom, boom. Okay, try it again. Okay, I'm not going to do the attempt because I don't want to knock them out, but I want you to understand uh, the, the energy that you're using here. Okay, so I'll, I'll use it on his mask. You see? It's not going to cause a top to turn your head because I'm in the middle of him. But you, you'll be able to see that. Just like I'm here, I'm not pushing them like this. You see? I'm using my ground. Okay? So move this arm out of the way, because I'm going to touch you right here. Our body is going here. <laughs> Using the energy of his mass, okay? The gravitational pull is what I end up grounding. The gravitational pull of his mass is what I end up grounding and projecting out. <laughs> but not out here. Feel that energy right there. That's what goes into boom, and gets him to bounce off like that, okay? So if you go let go, boom, that is what you're hitting with that, okay? Try it again. Okay, so already you have some strategy that you're learning. So always take the guy's balance. That's the strategy. Always take their balance. Always attack the body primarily, and the arm is secondary. The arm is secondary. Okay, you don't, you don't, you don't try to get somebody center with their arm. That's not correct. You already have their center, and you continue to have their center while you're touching the arm is entirely different. What does one look like? Like this. You see? Look, look how he's already 
going off balance, already going off balance, you see? But Uke is going to do something. That's what creates the arm opening. Because otherwise, I'd go flying, okay? So what's Uke supposed to do? Well, Uke is prescribed to give the initial energy, and then they're now tasked with reconciling yang with yin. So they give the initial yang energy to establish the conflict. He goes yin, and then he goes. What I'm going to do is go around this energy. I'm going to go around the energy of the atemi. So here's this atemi. To stay here, I get hit. So I'm going to go around his energy, my whole body, and look I'm on the other side of his arm. Here, around to the other side of his arm. Not he does that to me. Not he does it to me. I did it to him. I took away his throw going to the other side of his arm. I moved my head out of the way. I don't let my foot pull on my head because he'll hit me, boom. And I go around his arm. This is how my center doesn't get moved into the throw. Try that part. So I'm doing the attempt. He counters it. You see? It allows his center to stay still. And that's what allows the skin space for the If he tried to resist, I'm going to come out because he can't. My fingers are strong enough. If he tries to absorb it in his elbow, it's going to hit him. If he lets his foot break center. So remember, center is a equal relationship with the two peripheries. In this case, the foot and head. So if he bends at the waist, then I'm going to hit him. So he has to counter the atemi and counter the kazushi. So he establishes a relationship between his head and his feet. That will make his head miss the atemi. He goes around the energy, and that's what takes his center out of the kazushi. And there's my edema, where I again repeat the strategy, attack the body, not the arm. You understand? So let's say he did not go around, but he kept the center, lock it. I won't get the temi, but what would I get? The kazushi. You understand? This is how you get rid of both. Whoa, whoa, that opens that opening. I am touching the arm, but he countered it. I am going back into the center. Counters it, boom, back into the center. Not get the arm, get the body. You can forget that part. For example, if you had multiple people, counters, you go here and you can still get someone else. Counter in. I want to see that edini and re-attack the body. Go. So when you uh, do go to control the limbs, it's never you pulling on the limbs. You're sticking to the limbs, okay? That's from your nilwaza. You can't pull people's arms. They're just going to pull against you and get out. Got it? Okay, so pay attention. The, the mistakes that I'm seeing are starting way out here. You had no intention of hitting that guy in the face. Let's rewind the film and look at the mind. Let's let him let go, see if I'll hit him. You see? Watch where my body is. You see? 
then he has to counter because I'm not interested in his arm. I'm interested in his center. He counters and I am touching his arm, but I'm not pulling it. I'm not grabbing it. I'm just stuck to it, which is why I can let go of it and do the same kazushi. What I'm seeing instead is you're over here pulling on the arm. He is turning around me, but it's because of my edimi angle and I'm sticking with his hand. I'm not pulling on him. I'm attacking his center. I'm just touching this and sticking to it. Boom, sticking to it. You see my hand is open? Hand is open. You see that? Okay, try it again. Oh, I try, I tell you, try Kazushi, he counters, goes around. Now that he's down, now his center is controlled. Here's where I'm going to attack the arm. To attack the arm, I need his elbow right on my center line. I don't want to be like this. You see how I brought his elbow around right my center line. When I take one more step, I'm now on the inside of his elbow. And here it is, tap out. I'm not gonna float back out and get his arm with this step. Boom, boom, down here, right there. I take one more step around. And you can see my hand is on the inside attacking this way. So here's your break. You in the kihon will pass by that break. But you have to pass by it. If you're going to do the technique, boom, it's right there. And then do the technique. right there. This is different. Go with me like a, a dressage pony. Different. Do you understand? That's not it. Dressage pony is working on, I push his line of gravity out, and then there's no leg on the table over here, so he comes with me. Okay, but you saw when I didn't tell him to go with me, whoa, you're pulling on him, that's not Aikido, okay? Likewise, when I go here, boom, you're gonna think, I'll bring it like this. I'll just bring it around, and then, Will you go ahead and fall for me? But I had to tell him to do it. I am not, I'm not doing the break, but the teacher should be able to see that you have the inward energy. You're not just going up the circle like this. I am on the outside. Boom, counters, in, whoa. You can see it, boom, it's right there, okay? Well, I'm just going around that part. There it is right there, and I'm going around it. Okay, let him out, okay? I'm not just getting out of the way so the lazy you can just lets gravity work on their shoulder and they lay down, okay? Try it again.